Here's the Google Nest doorbell, the battery version. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. So first thing out of the box, you get some um, pamphlets here. You get the Nest doorbell as well. You can see the charging port right there. You have this plate. This is the base plate which we, you will need to attach this uh, to your wall and then you would pop this onto there, okay? Also, we have a 20 degrees wedge here just in case if you put it like straight, you know, it's not working, you may need like a little 20 degrees tilt. We also have a charging cable. It's USB-C to a USB-A. We have a wire connector right here, which I'm not going to need, okay? You have an option. You can just use the battery by itself or you can use it wired where then you won't have to charge the battery. You also get a key release tool. So you want to go ahead and like take this off of the mount. You can pop it in that little hole right there, press down, and it'll come right off. And then you can go ahead and charge it. And we get some screws here. We have like wall screws as well as the little ones down here are wedge screws. We have wall anchors. If you're going to need to use these, I won't be needing those. And you also have spacers if the wall is like uneven. Now, the thing for me, you know, you have to bolt this to the wall on your front door. I'm not allowed to put any screws into the front walls because I live in an apartment. So my only option is what I'm going to do is go ahead and use this no drill mount. There's like a 3M adhesive tape on here. I'll put a link below if you guys are interested in this as well. So let's go ahead and set this up. So first thing is we need to go ahead and take our cable out, our charging cable. One end, we're going to plug it back here, right there. And on the other end, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this into my wall adapter here. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my outlet. And as soon as you plug it in, you should see like a white solid light. And then after you hear that tone, the light will turn like a solid blue. Now the next thing is go to your app store or Google store and you want to download Google Home app, okay? Google Home, it looks just like this right here. So go ahead and uh, once you download that, open that up. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create an account. And once you create an account, uh, once you open it up, top left hand side is a little plus sign. We want to go ahead and tap on that. And we want to tap down here where it says set up device. We'll tap that right there. And then from here, we're going to choose the first one. It says new devices right there. And I have two homes here. You can go ahead and create another home if you wish, but I'm going to use this home up here. This is where I want the, uh, the doorbell to be installed. So it's checked right there. Let me tap on next. Looking for devices. Now it says, what are you setting up? So we're going to set up down here where it says doorbell. So tap on doorbell right there. And what are you setting up? So is it the Nest doorbell battery or other Nest doorbells? We have the Nest doorbell with battery. So the first option up here with battery, we're going to go ahead and go with that one right there. Now we have to scan a QR code. Okay, the QR code is on this pamphlet right here, right there, or also on the back here, you have a QR code there. Okay, so let me just go ahead and scan this QR code. And then from here, we're going to tap on continue. Here is the arbitration agreement. Go ahead and read through that. And if you agree, tap on I agree down here. Usage guidelines, read through all of this. If you agree with it, tap on next. Privacy guidelines, read through it, tap on next. Help improve Google Nest doorbell. This is option, you can click on no thanks or yes I'm in, it really doesn't matter. I'll just go with yes I'm in. Now it says plug in doorbell in bells, which we already did. What you wanna do is just wait for the blue light to be solid. Ours is already a solid blue light right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap on next from here. Next. Preparing your device. Connecting to assisting Nest. Connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, mine's already connected here, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on next. And then where's the device? You can go ahead and choose where you want the device. You probably want to want to, want to pick like um, front yard or front door. I'm, I'm fine with front door. I'll go with front door here. I'll tap on next. What will your new doorbell use for power? Okay, so we, we have two choices. We can do uh, battery or wired terminals. Okay, like I said, I'm going to be using only the battery. So I'm going to tap on battery and then tap on next. So there's video tutorials on how to mount it to the wall and so on, okay? So you can tap down here already installed or you can go ahead and click on next and you can go ahead and 
So go ahead and keep reading through this. Um, this one says, find a place in your doorbell. Basically, you want to have the doorbell at least four foot from the ground. And then just start reading through all this. Read through this down here. And up here it says, unplug your doorbell and bring it outside to check the live video, okay? So we want to make sure that the Wi-Fi goes works all the way out into your front door. So we're going to go ahead and unplug this right here. And now what you want to do is just bring this outside, okay, where your front door is or wherever you want to place this. Just put it up there and just go ahead and wave your hand and see if it works. If it works, then okay, Wi-Fi is good. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on next down here. Do you want to use the included wedge? It's a 20, it's a 20 degree wedge. So you figure if you want to, you know, if you need some kind of tilt on there as well. If yes, click on yes. If no, click on no. Leave space for the release tool, okay? So in other words, you want to leave about two two inches, two and a quarter inches from the top, okay? So you don't want to leave anything on top of here because what you're going to have to eventually do if you're going to charge the battery is you need a little bit of leverage to put this key in there, okay? So you need about two and a quarter inches above, okay? Also, like I said, if you don't have this right here, you can always use like a, um, a paper clip. You can use like a, a flathead screwdriver. You can even use like a SIM ejection tool either um, as well and let me just show you really quickly so let's pretend that this is mounted and then we can go ahead and seam ejection tool you just want to go ahead and put it up here and spring load it what you want to do is press down kind of hard just press the, oop, let me put it back in there just press down and then a plate falls off same thing with the key as well okay so that pops off and you can go ahead and pull that off like that we're going to tap on next here you can read through this, mark the screw replacement. Again, I'm not gonna be using um, needing screws to mount anything, because I have a, um, a no drill mount right here. So screw in the uh, base plate. Make sure when you have this, when you put this to the wall, that you have the little G, it's upright, okay? And then we can go ahead and click on next. How to attach the doorbell to the base plate. And I'll give you an example. Pretend that this is mounted to the wall. So what you do is grab the uh, doorbell. What you want to do, when you put it on, just make sure the bottom part here is first. That's on the bottom part. And then what you want to do is press the doorbell in towards the wall, in, and then press down. Okay. Camera on. A green light will turn on or remain on whenever the camera is active or processing. <laughs> Choose whether you want to turn on video recording. That, that's optional. For me, I'm going to go ahead and turn that one on. Toggle it on. Click on next. Adjust mic settings. Yes, I want my microphone toggled on. Do you want audio re audio recording? That's up to you. I do want audio recording for myself. I'll tap on next. Okay, so here it says choose whether you want to turn on visitor announcements. Your Google Assistant enabled speakers and displays can announce when a visitor rings your Nest doorbell. So in other words, when if you don't have any um, Nest speakers or uh, displays that's in your home, if somebody rings his doorbell, the only person that's going to know that somebody rang the doorbell is the person with the phone with the Google Home app unless somebody in your house is on the, Google, the same Google Home app as well. So if you have kids and stuff in the house, if somebody rings the doorbell, they're not going to hear it, okay? So you have to have like Google Assistant enabled speakers or displays or um, like Nest speakers, even like a Google Home Mini, okay? So when I, when I go ahead and turn that on, now the only thing I have installed in this Google Home app is my Google Home Mini, okay? So when I turn... Visitor announcements on. I'm going to go ahead and click on next now. Now, once I set this up and somebody clicks on this, my phone's going to give me a notification and my Google Home Mini in my home is going to ring and say that there's a visitor at the front door as well. Basically, a chime. Choose a spoken language. I'm going to go with English in the US here. I'm going to tap on next. Familiar face detection. It can detect a particular face that you have saved that's at your front door. If you want to go with that, you can go ahead and choose cameras. For myself, I don't need to set this up, so I'm going to click on not now. You can always set it up later if you wish, okay? Stay in the know, go ahead and redo that. This is optional, you can sign up or no thanks. For me, I'm just gonna go with no thanks. Yo, an event and you should watch this video tutorial here. I mean, this is gonna show you um, how to view like live video and event history um, through, through your Google Home app, how to manage notifications on Google Nest Cam and Nest Doorbell, how to find, save, share video clips on Google Nest Cam, and Nest Doorbell, all right? So go ahead and tap on Next after you've watched that video. Getting your device ready. You're all set up. Click on Done right there. So my Google Home app, you can see my Nest Doorbell, front doorbell, and this one down here in the kitchen, this is my Google Home Mini. I also 
ordered I just ordered a Google Nest Mini as well so I have two areas where it can uh, chime when someone rings their doorbell okay so let's go ahead and test it out let's see if it rings and stuff like that so now I have to go ahead and put it back on my wall or I just use the mount okay so that it knows that it's attached all right green light is on now oh I just got a uh, notification now let me click on right there and you just heard my uh, you heard seen a notification come in and you heard my uh, my Google Home Mini and I'll do it again but then someone's at the front door someone's at the front door doorbell now anytime you want to see live footage just go to where the uh, doorbell is mine's right here let me tap on that and there's live footage and I can see how much battery juice I have on there 65 65 percent and you have your history down here you also have your settings up here as well you can tap on settings and you can read through this device information your notifications battery events and so on okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and install um, my mouth remember that I said that I can't screw any drills like in the holes because I live in an apartment so I have to use like this bracket here I'll put a link below where you can get this but this is a uh, 3m adhesive what I'm gonna do is stick that to wherever I want near the front door and I also realized I actually do the wedge works a little bit better for me so for me I'm